let's create a variable here let user one user one is an object we have the name property user one and also we have the row property front end right let's create another variable we'll call it user underscore two and now we set the value to be user underscore one right so now let's explain how reference data type works we have a single object here this is a single object with two properties right the name property and the row property now we have two variables user one and user two these two these two variables right are pointing to a single object this this object right so user two and user one are pointing to this object how do we know that we are going to see because any change you may you make in one object will definitely affect the state of the other object right so let's see if we say um user underscore two dot row is now equal to backend and console.log user underscore one dot row so let's check it out as you can see we have backend right so user underscore one has the row property updated to backend but what we did in line eight basically we updated the row property of user two remember what happened here user two and user one right user two this is user one and this is user two they are pointing to a single object right so this is why we say that object is a reference data type